All right, good morning, everybody. Um, this is Streets of Rogue that I will be playing. It's a game currently in alpha, and it'll be coming out on March 10th uh, to Steam Early Access. Um, I've been privileged enough to kind of stumble across it in itch.io, and I am really excited about this game, and I hope you will be as well. So let's go ahead and get launched into this. Ooh. Double launched. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm sure a lot of this is going to change since we are still early on. I'm sorry about the camera angle. Um, it's set this way because the rest of my desk is an absolute mess. So you're going to get to see this lovely profile. All right. So. Uh, let's Starting at the game, there's Quick Start, home base, only available in Steam version. Although I've talked to some people on the Discord channel for Streets of Rogue, and they are able to get into home base with a little bit of coding, a little bit of modding. Um, but this is something that should be available in the Steam version. So there's also online play that's currently available, up to, I think, four players currently. And then, of course, there will be a daily challenge. So let's do a Quick Start, one player. And the first thing we're going to see here is we're going to have a whole range of characters. Once it actually loads. So each character has their own abilities, traits, stats, things of that nature. So for example here, uh, Slum Dweller, um, which I personally don't recommend to start with. Um, he's got, you know, 2 for endurance, 1 for strength, 2 for accuracy, 2 for speed. So stats wise, he's not that great. However, he's really good in the traits area, the super, super studious. I was going to say super superstitious, but super studious. Gains lots of extra XP. He's a great character um, once you're kind of familiar with the game, but I would not recommend him as a starter. So. There's all these art traits, so there's a soldier, um, as you can see, who's got, you know, better strength, better accuracy, shopkeeper, gangster. There's gangster crepes and blods. Um, obviously a play of, you know, the uh, crips and the bloods. So there's thief, bartender, hacker, doctor, Scientist, gorilla, cop, vampire, wrestler, assassin, comedian, jock, shapeshifter, investment banker, werewolf. It's quite an extensive list for a game that hasn't really even hit beta yet. And this this is a really fun game. Um, like I said, each of these characters have different traits and stats and starting items. I personally like playing the scientist or the hacker. Um, the hacker, because you can remotely hack computers like you are the late hexer that you are. Um, or I like playing scientist because the, his starting items are crazy, like Trank Gun, Shrink Ray, Freeze Ray, Ghost Gibber is, well, we'll see if we can get to that, but he, just don't cross the streams. So, alright, let, let's go ahead and launch in. I'll play as scientist. I can change his hair. I'm going to make him bald. Of course, hair color doesn't do anything because he's bald now. Give him some facial hair. Yeah. Give him a funky little mustache. And that's about the closest to my skin color. So, all right, let's go. So this game is releasing Friday, if everything goes well. Um, this is hopefully the final alpha version Unless something crazy breaks. So right now I'm looting trash cans. You can actually insert things into the air filtration system like you see this gas vent here. If I had something that actually created noxious gas, um, I can actually put it in here. Right now I don't. Well, ah, I do. I do. I got rage poison. Let's go ahead and see if this does anything. Oh yeah.
cool. He's dropped a key. There's a chest in there and a refrigerator. Let's go around this way. I don't know if I want to necessarily engage. Oh. Alright. Cool. It actually works out really well because I wanted to come in here anyway. Yeah. So, I can go ahead and try to disable the security cam. Oh. Failed. It's a 50% chance. Failed again. You'd think a scientist would be a little... a little smarter than this. Your goodness, really? Hey, got it. Only took about four tries. Got some money. Hey, I'm going to steal ham sandwich. Food items give you health. Um, right now, of course, I'm staying at a full bar, so don't need to eat that sandwich. Let's see here. All right, there's a safe that I want to crack open. Now, I could use the computer to open up the doors and open up the safe. Or I can kill or knock out this guy here. Up. Oh. If I do, if I kill... Ah! Okay. Let's see here. Let's see if I... I'm going to do it this way. Oh. Oh, he is not happy with me. Oh. Oh, he is not happy with me. <laughs> okay. I was kind of worried that might happen. Alright. Let's go tranquilizer gun. I'm just using the mouse wheel to uh, make the selections. There's also a shrink ray. I'll show that off here in a split second. I gotta wait for this guy. Trank. And down for a count. Alright. He's got the safe combination here, which I'll take. And he's got a baseball bat, which I will also take. Alright, so this goon's hostile to me now. You can kind of, yeah, see the text there. This thief is neutral. He doesn't care. So I'm going to open the door. The goon will probably see me. Oh, ah, missed with the shrink ray. Or freeze ray. Okay, frozen. And shrink. And stepped on. Woohoo. Alright, let's see what's in here. Whiskey. Whiskey. Really? Well, okay, so I'm going to drink the whiskey. I used uh, F to drink. Alright. I wish I had the hacker um, for this part, because the hacker would be able to hack the turret and hack the camera and be able to attack um, guards that cross the camera path. Of course, right now I'm watching the guards. Do -do. So I just got the baseball bat, which I could use to knock this goon out. Let's go ahead and do that. So if you see my little um, bar, my hotkey bar down there, I got a pill that looks like it's got a really funky G on it. I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to hit number one. Hey! Yeah. How do you like me now? I think I'm... Oh, okay, it worked. I'm going to step on... Yep. <laughs> this is not how I normally play. I'm just kind of doing this as demonstration. Normally I play a lot sneakier. Ooh, okay, let's free free the slaves. Or slave in this case, there's only one. Okay. So I'm going to trank that guy. I could, like here, I'm going to talk to a slave master. I can purchase a slave for 90 bucks. Eh, I got 110, that's not, not much money right now. So I'm just going to knock him out. Hi. Uh, swing and miss. And as you see, the former slave is now free. Alright. There's no safe. No chest over in here. 
There's a sell matic which I can sell some stuff at, but not really keen on selling anything at the moment. Ooh. Okay, there's a chest in here. This guy has it, but he's got a goon watching him. So if I if I trank this guy, the goon's gonna go crazy on me. So let's see if I can hit the goon across the room like this. I don't know if I can shoot across the desk. Let's try it. Oh, I can. Okay. So the goon's going to drop. The shopkeeper's going to be like, when the world just happened. Oh, um, and down. Cool. All right, we got the key. The goon dropped his gun and a sandwich. So let's go grab that. Honestly, don't care about the camera right now. Let's see if I gain experience. I don't think I do. Nope, no experience. So, that's kind of a bummer. Do I have AR missions? No, I do not. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Actually, let's have some fun. So, you'll come across um, kind of like these little apartment blocks. And sometimes you want to get in there, sometimes they'll have a chest, or... Like, in this case, I want to loot this guy's fridge. But, I can't get in there because he's got, like, a steel door and... Oh, well, I guess I could do this, too. No. Nope. What? Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Any momentum? Okay. What? Ah, sad face. Normally when you're giant, you should be able to crunch, crunch, crunch through walls. This might be a small bug, because you, you, you guys saw me do it earlier. All right, so I want to get in here. I don't have a lock pick, and I can't punch the door, because if I punch the door, it, like with regular doors, you can actually punch them and they'll break. Let's see. Yeah, here, like for example, say if this door was locked, you see it's wood, you could just go a couple of times and kick it through. That doesn't work so well on steel doors. Well, it's interesting because it, you can't annoy people like, <laughs> here, tap on the window. I'm going to punch the glass. <laughs> now he's... Punch the glass again. Yep, now he's annoyed with me. Now if you keep annoying people, eventually they'll turn hostile on you. Like right now he's like, mm, I don't like you. But then he's going to be like, I absolutely hate you if I keep messing with him. So, I'm going to knock on the door. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to talk to me. So, I'll do this. Alright, so I need him to get back to the door before the trank kicks in. And I'm going to miss. Oh! Dang. Now the door's locked, and I don't have any way of getting in there. Hmm. Let's try it with this person. <laughs> okay, apparently a storm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The doctor is going to like, start getting... Yep, there it is. I'm surprised the doctor didn't notice the slum dweller earlier. Alright. Does this work? Nope. Nope. Because apparently the slum dweller was not supposed to be in there. Uh, and there's nothing good to steal over there. Okay. So, let's go to the next level. Sorry, I keep I can't, I can't keep looking up past the camera. Because um, that's where my screen is. And I just keep thinking that that's also where my camera is. It's not. My camera is right here. Alright, let's see. What do I want? What do I want? Hey! Pass by lasers undetected. That might actually work for my play style. Let's see if I can play it more, more stealthy now. Okay, so this guy has an M. That means he's got a mission for me. This kind of sucks because there's a chest in there I want. 
So obviously the shopkeeper has the key for this room. But the shopkeeper's got a mission for me first. So let's take care of the mission. Turn off all these buttons. Alright. So we'll come back to that. Oh, here, let's see if we can... There's a fridge I want. So let's knock on the door. Hey, Doc. I totally missed... Oh, no, I got him. I got him. So I'm going to do three. Knock on the door. Knock on the door. Knock on the door. Ha ha! Door's blocked now. Oh man, there's a chest over there. I don't have any way of getting in there. Nope, no lockpicks. I don't have a wall bypasser, and I don't have the giantizer, so I can't, like, stomp through walls. It's a bummer. Alright. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Is that a safe? Yes, that's a safe and a fridge. So I need to get rid of that bartender because he's most likely got the key. Hmm. Hmm. None of these guys are guards, so even if they see me trank the bartender, they're not really going to care. I'm just going to hide in here. Use the restroom. <laughs> See, no one cares that the bartender passed out. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Alright, let's take a look at the inventory, because I don't think I've really done that yet. So, it's accessed with Q. I might have pulled it up a couple of times, but let's see here. So, I got a silencer. I do have a pistol. Let's combine the two. Right-click to combine. Boom. Let's see if we can find a target. I know I said I was going to play a little stealthier this time, but... You know, it's got it's got a silencer on it now. Ah, there's a good target. I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Uh oh. Ooh, wow. That was brutal. Creeps in the bloods. All right, let's see here. Go ahead and pick him off from behind. There we go. See, I, I wish there was an ability where, like, if you snuck up on somebody with a gun, you'd do more damage. Oh. I could release gas here, but considering that I'm the only one in this building, might not be a good idea. So... We'll just finish up this mission. Take the money. Now, technically, I can hit the control button, and that'll take me to the next mission area. I'm not sure which one it'll take me to, but let's find out really quick. Hey! Alright. We'll complete the mission, we'll get... The Hypnotizer Mark II. Alright. So we need to trank the shopkeep, because we want the key to get in here. So while we're waiting, um, just so you guys know, you kind of see the whole extra life border. I don't consider myself a normal streamer. Or content creator, or however you want to put it. So, if you feel so compelled to give me money for whatever reason, I have no idea why, um, I ask instead that you make a donation to Extra Life, or make a wish, or... Yeah, I'd love to have extra money. Everybody would love to have extra money, but I honestly don't need extra money. Oh. Uh, so yeah, so make a donation to Extra Life, if you would, please. Alright. So this guy's a bouncer. If I open this door, he's going to beat the tar out of me. Let's see here. I just got a hypnotizer. Let's see if I can do something with it. See if he... 
Cool. All right, he didn't care. Hmm. There is no good way of doing this. Because I need one of these scientists has the key for that. Can I shoot through? Oh, I can. Okay. Never mind. That works. I need to refill my gun. Cost seventy dollars. Sweet. Cool. So I just leveled up. And I kind of um forgot to talk about that at the end of last level, but I'll show it to you at the end of this one, once we get there. Basically, once uh, it works as a roguelite, so you can level up and you get traits if you level and make it to the end of the map. Let's see here, retrieve item. For this guy, what do I want to do? Yeah, let's have some fun. I want the cops to see this. Mm-hmm. Done. Oh great, I got hypnotizer mark one. I really don't know the difference between a hypnotizer mark one and a mark two. Let's see here. Alright. We will I'm going to see if make friendly. Oh, compared to aligned. Yeah, friendly. Because if I do this, I think he's going to change his mind. Let's find out. Oh, nope. Okay. Okay. Hey, we're all friends now. Oh, 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 ow. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Hmm. So they saw me release the gorilla and they were no longer happy with me. Alright. How do I get in here? Let's see here. Uh, that was the chest I missed earlier, which I'm just going to have to completely ignore. Alright, let's let's pop something into the air filtration system. Acid, slow, or poisoned. Poisoned. I'm a little low on health, so I'm going to eat. I think I got a ham sandwich. Huh? Two ham sandwiches and a beer. Sounds like lunch. So let's hit F. Oh, and a banana. So I guess it's good to start with fruits, huh? Two bananas. Alright. Oh, ow! Oh! Okay, okay. Hold on. Banana peel. There we go. Problem solved. Repeatedly. Bye now. Okay. So that'll take care of him. Uh, two, one. Good night. Good night, sweet prince. Alright. Hmm. Okay, hey, there's the security computer up here, which we'll use really quick. Let's go ahead and... I'm actually going to leave the security system on, because it's going to be fun. Let's go ahead and release the gas. And good for now. Cool, got my neutralize. Because I poisoned the air... Whoop. <laughs> Almost walk right into the flames. All right. So. Mm -hmm. uh, lasers no longer care. Eee! So there's two different types of lasers. There's the yellow lasers, which just set off an alarm, and the red lasers, which blow up. Let's see here. Sorry. Itchy. Itchy, itchy. It's starting starting a springtime around here. Ow. Oof. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to drop. So red lasers, let me show you what happens if you were to technically cross them. Boom. I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to need another banana.
Let's see here. Alright, so we need to make the elevator. I could walk all the way there, but that's a bit of a pain, so we'll teleport using control. Uh, you see this over here? I accidentally took one of my syringes. Stabbed myself with it, accidentally. My E is right below the 3, and I hit the 3. Oh well. It'll wear off. Alright. So, Knuckly, do more damage with bare fists, which I don't use. Clumsiness accepted. I don't want to break their stuff. I don't break stuff very often, so I'm going to go with GPS. Map is entirely filled at the beginning of levels. So, that'll kind of show me where the ammo refill stations are, the cell things are. Ooh. Ah. Oh. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but my, my headphones are. Uh oh rather old. Let's let's take a quick pause here. Cause I need to pause the game because those bombs. Yeah. Hold on. It's just going to be kind. Sad face. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess if you you want to <laughs> give me anything in particular, um, new new headset would be nice. <laughs> uh, all right. Here. Hold on. Ah. All right, there we go. Ow. Hey, look, I'm Bill Belichick. Ah, uh, slow. Ah. Uh, that started this level with the bombs dropping. Not a good thing. It's almost off. Almost off. Hey, there we go. Okay. Whew. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Oh. Oh. Lots of stuff going on there. I do. Oh, oh! Do not want to be a part of. Bouncer, neutral, neutral. Okay. Boom. Let's see here. All right. Retrieve item. So I could bribe with item, bribe with money, threaten, or because this person's a cop, I could say ignore. Um, I don't like. Whoa. Okay. Ah, <laughs> break out. Alright, alright. Ow! Did not see where the shadow was. Okay. Cop, 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 come here. Okay, let's do a bribe with items, see if they want anything in particular. Ah, sure, I'll give them my hard hat. Oh, that was close. Alright, let's take a quick look at the map. There's a safe, a chest, a chest... A gay dispenser, a clone machine. Let, let's see if we can do... Let's hit the safe, the chest... Well, let's go. No, safe, clone machine, safe... Ah, we'll, we'll figure it out. There's no point in playing it right now. Okay. Alright. Boom. Boom. Oh. Take the key to the bank safe and the bank door. You gibbed. 
All right. I think, yes, there's the clone machine over there. Uh-oh. Let's see here. Bouncer. Let's see if I can get the... No, please don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't destroy the clone machine. I want to use it. I want to use the clone machine. Ow. Okay. Okay, okay. You don't see me anymore. I'm going clone myself. Alright. So, uh-oh. Is it going to die? Is it going to die? Woo! <laughs> So one of the cool things about this... Oh, crap. Oh! oh! Hey, 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 hey! Ah! Oh. 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 Not good. Did I lose my... I think I lost my clone. Aw, oh, sad face. So, let's see if I can pick somebody else for this. What I was going to say is what... Oh! <laughs> Um, did not see that coming. So what I was going to say is that uh, one of the cool things is that you can actually recruit people, um, specifically like Crips, Bludes, um, d -d 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 Slum Dwellers. I think you could do it with Drug Dealers as well. Goons are normally not so much. Oh, you can do it. Sorry, broken headphone. <laughs> you can do it with... Gorillas, if you have both the Translayer and Banana, um, they are obviously really powerful melee characters. But, and the cool thing is you can actually play as one uh, from the character select screen, but the Gorillas don't speak English, so it's kind of hard to communicate with our characters. So, anyway, let's see here. 20 minutes. According to this, I've been going for 32 um, Hacker's one of my favorite characters. Um, I'm just going to run a quick demonstration, but I think you guys get the basic idea of this game where you can, you go on missions, you can do various things to get XP, you level up, you can pick, you know, selection of traits. It's not quite like an action RPG I mean, you could play it that way. It feels more like a, man, I don't know, strategy, adventure, roguelike. Yeah, I, I, I don't know exactly how to describe it, which is kind of part of the charm of it. So let's go ahead and we will, excuse me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You go. You gotta wait, you gotta click, and you gotta wait. I was double clicking, so I was selecting and unselecting. I bet this looks weird. It looks like I have like a, like a goiter or something. All right, so the cool thing about the hacker cool thing about the hacker is that he can obviously hack stuff. So I'm going to hack the slot machine. Of course, the shopkeeper is all like, when the world's going on. I'm going, did I, did I get it? Did I get it? Okay. I think I did. So I'm going to leave that. Ooh, computer. So remote. I'm going to release the gas. So the hacker can do things like, for example, here I'm hacking this TV. I'm going to blow it up. Boom. Uh-oh. Now, I can rescue this guy, but I think the gun's going to see him and he's going to like, start 
beating the tar out of him. We'll find out. Oop. I'm going to fail this mission. Yep. Mission failed. Prisoner's dead. Ow. Ow. Uh, ow. Oh. The hacker takes, as you can see, a little bit of finesse. And it's early in the morning, and I just don't have that level of finesse. Ooh, ooh. This one's a fun one. Hello? Is your refrigerator running? Boom. It's more fun, of course, when there's um, people in front of it. All right. So locked door, safe. Let's put a time bomb. It's unfortunately going to kill that guy. I don't, I don't have a good way of. Well, actually. Well, I did have a good way of getting him out, but it's too late now. All right, so. That's the slot machine we started at. So let's see if I can earn some money because I increased my odds of winning. Lost, lost, won. Lost, won. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Ah. You can only do it so many times before it runs out of money. Ooh, there's a shrinker over there. Let's see if I can find a camera and a... Yes, there we go. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and hack the security cam. Up, up, up. Dang. Well, what I was hoping to do was I was going to have the camera detect the goon and then have the turret shoot the goon. But obviously the goon was not too happy with the camera being messed with, so he just figured, destroy it. It's for the fun of it. I've never used the shrinker before, so let's go ahead and use the shrinker just to see what happens. I do seem to move a lot faster. Nice. All right. Ooh, ammo stealer. Hmm. Well, I think that gives you a good rough idea of how this game plays. Like I said, there are a bunch of our characters with their own pros and cons. And this game comes out. This is Streets of Rogue coming out on March 7th. 7th? Sorry, 10th, 10th, seven days away, seven, well, seven days from yesterday. Like I said, it's still morning, so I'm still waking up. But definitely watch for it coming out on Steam Early Access this coming Friday. So I think that's it for me for Streets of Rogue. I'm probably going to go play something else, probably go play with my dogs, go have some breakfast. Boom. Alright, thanks for watching, and like I said, feel free to donate to Extra Life, or if you want to be so kind as to get me a new <laughs> headset, because this one is... <laughs> uh, either way. Uh, but, thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful weekend.